Hello everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of the Calamity Mod. We're on the second episode guys, and thank you so much for all of the support in the first episode my friends. I appreciate it so freaking much, like more than you guys could ever know. I know my consistency hasn't been that great on this channel lately, but to see that you guys are still supporting me after all this time, and despite all of that, really does mean the world to me guys. So thank you very much. If we can keep it up with a thousand likes per episode, that would be absolutely amazing. Now, in today's episode, we are going to basically just explore some more. Uh, we've got plenty of stuff from the first episode. We've got quite the smorgasbord of weapons, amongst other things. Oh, that reminds me, actually, talking of gear. Uh, one of the mods I do have is the Reforge Armor mod, which basically means if I go ahead and place this down, we make ourselves a wood set of armor, then there is a possibility we could get stuff better than just Wood. So, what are we going to get? Just a regular... Oh, wait. Hang on. Oh, my God. You can't be serious. That is absolutely fantastic. All right. What are we going to get this one? Uh, movement speed. All right. Don't mind if I do. And we got rash as well. All right. Well, the warding is certainly a nice addition. We are now up to eight defense, which is uh, very nice. And, uh, yeah, guys. All we're going to do is start heading down to see if we can find some epic stuff. Oh, yes, because I would love me some epic stuff. And you guys may have seen at the very beginning of the episode there, if you are eagle-eyed, you may have seen that, yes, the Christmas mini event has now officially started in Terraria. We now have, like, bowed slimes. They've got bows on. They're awesome, dude. I love the Christmas event. So that also means we'll start getting ourselves goodie bags, which we can open up to get some awesome stuff. All right, so what are we going to get? An umbrella? Do you know what? Temporarily, that might actually be a very, very good thing for us. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the shurikens, and we are going to use this to be Mary Poppins. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. All right, let's break that up. Uh, what have we got? A rash guide to plant fiber cordage. So if we wanted to grab ourselves any kind of uh, rope alternative then I guess we can. That's always nice. Good day to you. I'm going to kill you and you're going to die. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, they think they're so smart. Oh, there's a trap down there. I am not about this life. Oh, hey guys, check it out. We got ourselves our first ever life crystal of the series. Hey man, you gotta love seeing that. You really, really do. So uh, for those of you guys unaware, this is going to be like a completely random train of thought, but it's something I definitely need to mention. On Monday, the 17th of December, I will be part of the Jingle Jam Yogg's Cash stream with Chippy Gaming, Pedgwin, and of course, Yogg's Cash Shin. So similar to last year in 2017, we are going to be doing a, another Terraria segment, another Terraria stream going from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. GMT, so British time. So for those of you guys who can make it, that would be absolutely awesome. It's all for a good cause. We'll be playing just for fun and for, uh, you know, raising money for charity. Uh, so, yeah, and there's loads and loads of epic games on the Humble Bundle, which you can buy as part of the Yogscast uh, charity stream. So, yeah, for those of you guys who are wondering where that is, it is actually going on currently at the time even, you know, of me making this episode. So it is twitch.tv slash Yogscast. Nice and simple. You guys can check it out Monday 17th between 2 p.m. and 5 p.m. GMT. I'll try, if I remember, I'll try to put a link to a time conversion uh, website in the description because then you guys can easily see uh, when it is for you. So, yeah. Awesome stuff. All right, let's have ourselves a little bit of that. We are now up to 120 health. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, good day to you, Mr. Deer. You are now dead. All right, what is that? That is platinum. I will take the platinum any day. I think tungsten and upwards would probably be worth getting. So... Yeah. Oh, we got a superior in China boomerang as well. Good day to you, sir. Get absolutely schmung dingled. Right. Uh, do we have any bombs? Uh, no. But I'm pretty damn sure there was uh, some back at base and I forgot to bring them with me. Apparently something is ticking. Some sort of bomb. Some sort of pressure blade. What could it be? I wonder. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's probably a pressure plate. Let's just be honest here. But yeah, anyways, guys, let's continue on. But yeah. Uh, guys, I, uh, I'm i going to try my best to be as good as I can in terms of, you know, in terms of consistency uh, with this channel. So I'm going to try to get uh, content out as often as I can. I've already pre-recorded content for the for the Minecraft channel, uh, but I'm also going to try my best to pre-record some content for this main channel as well for while I'm away uh, at the Yorkscast. So yeah, 
But like I said, guys, it's going to be worth it. And I hope you guys can, uh, you know, join in and uh, have a little bit of fun with it. It's going to be a fantastic time. I went there last year and it really, really was a very, very fun time. And, you know, fun fact, Pedgwin is now officially part of the Yorks cast. And that's pretty cool, right? So, you know, it'll be kind of awesome joining Pedgrin as part of the Yorks cast officially. I don't know, man. I just think that'd be absolutely, you know, amazing. So, yeah, fantastic. Anyway, so let's continue on. Uh, got ourselves yet another chest, guys. We are getting plenty of chests and stuff. Uh, do I have any bombs? Still no bombs. Do we have one in this chest? Yes, we do. Fantastic. Arcane. Okay, so we've got ourselves a bit more mana if we so wish. What does the other one have? Uh, precise. Oh, we're going to go with Arcane. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, that, that's got to be a bug. One of them was Arcane. The other one was Precise. Apparently, they stack. The Bands of Regeneration stack, and it kind of resets the Reforge it has on it. Oh, that's not cool. Hmm. I'm not okay with that. That's, uh, that's a little bit questionable. Okay, well, anyways, uh, let's continue on. We're going to grab ourselves that Platinum because it is a very good resource to have. And it'd be nice to get ourselves maybe a Platinum Broadsword by the end of today's episode. Now, I've got to tell you, man, what the hell is going on with this water? That does not seem right, sir. I don't understand. I do not understand. Oh, jeez. Okay, careful, careful. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, God. Oh, God. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh my god, he just got absolutely pwned midair. That's how amazing I am with a boomerang, ladies and gentlemen. That's just absolutely brilliant. All right, well, let's carry on. Uh, we're going to find ourselves another house or some more heart crystals because, you know, either of those would be fantastic. All right, uh, nothing too much going on. Uh, just came to the realization we should probably get an anvil, though. So it might be a good idea. Wait, do we already have an anvil? I cannot remember. Genuinely can't remember. Anyways, boop. bombing time. I love bombing things in Terraria. It's very satisfying and more satisfying because of the fact that you don't lose any items when you uh, explode things. You know, whereas in Minecraft, uh, yeah, you do lose things. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. But anyways, look at that. Yet another house, guys. Dude, we are getting seriously geared up today. And we've even got a bookshelf. So if we wanted to make ourselves some spells which I would very much love to do, then yeah, we're going to be having a rocking great time, aren't we, guys? All right. And of course, check it out. Whole bunch of cobweb. Always useful. Especially... Oh my God, there's a spider biome right there. Especially if we want to make ourselves a bed, which of course we do want to because beds set your spawn point and beds are awesome just in general. So yes. All right. Good day to you, sir. I'm going to kill you and you're going to die. There you go. Goodbye. Uh, Wait. Wow. I don't know, man. Like, we're doing really freaking well so far. Uh, was there, like, another area to go down? Doesn't look like it. Oh, yeah, there was a sort of area up there. All right, I'm going to try and make my way... In fact, you know what? It might just be simply if I take it from the top <laughs> as opposed to just, like, going up. So, yeah. All right, I'll meet you guys back there. We'll see what else we can find. Alrighty, guys, and here we are exploring the other side of the cave system. There is a high likelihood we're just going to wind up connecting back, but... There's also a slight likelihood we'll find something awesome. And it looks like we have... Oh, gosh. There's freaking traps everywhere, man. Look at that. Three of them. Take it down three. Oh, God. Four traps. What? This is insane. Oh, there's an owl just flying around casually. Hey, man. Why not? I'm down with that. All right. Well, there we go. Uh, now up to 140 health. There is also some stuffs up here, which I'd very much like to bomb. And uh, grab myself. Is that going to... Oh, I was just going to say. Is that going to, like, go ahead and, like, wreck me in terms of floods? But, you know, luckily not. We're looking pretty decent, my friends. So, how's about we go ahead and uh, continue on here. And uh, we're going to hopefully see if we can find ourselves some awesome stuff along here. I'm really, really hoping so. There's cobalt up there. Like I said, my friends, this world is custom generated. Which is why we are seeing all of the various types of of ores and you may even notice we've got both palladium there and cobalt we've got both types of hard mode ore so we're not having to go ahead and just stick with just one so that's pretty awesome anyways guys look at that there's a guide painting <laughs> all right well we're gonna put that up because you know the guy needs to have his ego and all of that right so that's all good uh violent shoe spikes intrepid which one's better well violent obviously i mean you know that's pretty uh <laughs> Pretty self-explanatory, I'd say. But anyways, uh, come on, then. 
Dude, we are finding so many houses today. This is actually kind of amazing. I am definitely down with this. I'm very, very happy. Oh, yes, I am. Okay. Uh, anything else to speak of? Be nice if that water would dissipate so I could actually put down a freaking torch. Goodbye. Can you stop flooding, please? Ah, oh, jeez, man. I just wanted to stop flooding. There we go. Right, we're going to pick up some more of this here tungsten. Uh, we're going to just continue on, basically. All right. Uh, what's going on over here? Any more awesome things that I need to know about? Yeah, there's a there's a singular ruby. Hey, man, you got to love it. And, of course, an amethyst crawler. These guys are really, really awesome because you can just sort of farm them out for a while. And uh, get yourself like a like a gem hook or something. They're pretty dang useful, basically. Look at that. There's gold. Like I say, we've got both types of ores. Both platinum and gold. Which is awesome. I love that. In my opinion, that's how it should be. Just full stop. That's how it should just be. So, yeah. Anyways, guys. Let's continue on. And if we find something cool, I'll bring you guys back. Whoa. Now that, my friends, is a very... Big mushroom biome. Don't mind if I do, man. Right, now, of course, I'm hoping that there's going to be some cool stuff going on. So, how's about we do a little bit of that? There's a trap right there. Uh, if I keep my pickaxe swinging, I should be able to pick them all out as I go along. Right, okay, I think we're just about good. Uh, it would be nice if I could get up there. So, how's about we do a little bit of that? All right, and now we can just rope our way up. That is, is that a diamond? Oh, my God, that's a diamond. I want it! I want the diamond. Give me the diamond, sir. I want the diamond. Oh, God. I need to throw something away. All right. Blinky plant. You can go away for now. I could probably just pick some more later. Uh, oh, my gosh. This place is huge. God damn, man. Look at this place. The nurse has arrived. Wow. I got a demolitionist before the nurse. That's pretty interesting. All right. Well, uh, question. Oh, yeah. There's like dudes down there. Oh, my God. Dude, this place is huge. Look at that. There's candy canes down there. Absolutely. Oh, God. Absolutely fantastic. Look at this guy, man. He wants to go. He wants to go, man. I ain't about this life. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm not about this. Not about it. Not at all. Oh, God. Stop, sir. I don't want you with me. I don't want you with me. I want you to go away. I want to grab my prize and I want to get the heck out of here because just... Just doesn't seem like a good idea to be staying down here for too long. Not in revengeance mode. Just a big fat no on that front. All right. Well, uh, yeah, I think I might just go for a little bit of a rush. Uh, there's a trap there. There's a trap there. Uh, there's a big slimy trying to follow me. Get out of here. Oh, talking to slimy. I completely forgot. I got a freaking slime staff and I haven't been using it. Well, I've been a bit of a dumbo, haven't I? Well, anyways. There we go, 160 health. We're looking pretty good, my friends. Eventually, we'll be able to take down our first boss. So I don't even think it's going to take that long, to be honest. All right, well, anyways, uh, let's continue on. Maybe there's some more stuffs in here, or equally, maybe not. Although, yet again, there's another mushroom biome over there. Good Lord above. Wow. Okay. Anyways, guys, I don't think I'm going to be too uh, greedy about this. So I'm going to go ahead and say that we're pretty good. And yeah. We've got ourselves quite a lot of stuffs going on. Okay, so yeah. Oh, the nurse is here. Okay, cool. Uh, hmm. I don't know. Would I want the demolitionist here instead? Oh, wait. Did I say arm steel or demolitionist? I can't remember. Well, anyways, we're looking good, guys. We're looking very, very good. Okay, right. I'm going to go ahead and clear my inventory out, and then we are going to begin on some upgrades. Well, guys, as you can see, we've got quite the smorgasbord going on. Look at all these bars I've got. This is absolute insanity. Right. Now then, ooh, the Platinum Knuckle Duster. 23 melee damage, 5 combo power cost from the Weapon Out mod. You see, it's not really Calamity, so I don't think I really want to be using that. So we're going to go straight for something else. Uh, we could even make a Radar if we wanted to. Same with an Aglet. Wow, these are super easy to make. An Aglet might be useful later down the line. But anyways, uh, guys, we're going to make ourselves a Platinum short uh, Broadsword, and it's got more damage. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Nine more damage. Very nice. Okay, and what do we think? A gold axe or a gold... Oh, can mine meteorite? That can also mine meteorite, though. Huh. Okay. Right. Uh, An axe or a hammer? I might go for the axe just so I could chop down trees a little bit quicker. Uh, in the meantime, what else have we got? We've got ourselves a tungsten hammer. Might as well make it. And we could also make ourselves a bow if we so wish. Is there any higher-end bow I can make? Silver bow? 
Tungsten bow does 10. Why not? Let's go ahead and make it. And there we go. We've got ourselves a fairly nice amount of uh, upgrades going on here. Very, very nice. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Right. And now, what we're going to do is tidy my inventory and sell all of my old weapons. Because, yeah, we've got a lot of old weapons. Oh, that's a point. Ooh. Some of you guys were saying we should make ourselves a shrine for the legendary wood broadsword. Uh, yeah, okay, we're gonna do that. <laughs> I'm actually gonna do that because I think that'd be a pretty fun thing to do. So, yeah, all right. Uh, boomerang can go. The blowpipe can go. All of this, you know, all of this stuff can go as well. I mean, we just got way too much stuff. We really, really do. All right, so let's go and say bye bye to all of this stuff. Okay, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. There we go. How much gold have we got? I've got absolutely no idea because the max stack mod uh, means I don't actually know. <laughs> So, yeah, okay, that's always good. Ah, so it turns out when you quick stack money into a piggy bank, it automatically converts it all. So as a result, we actually have six gold coins. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so I bought myself a secondary piggy bank so I can have an extra inventory on me. And what we're now going to do, guys, is we're just simply going to explore the world a little bit more. I mean, we didn't actually get further than the snow biome on the right-hand side. Might be a nice idea to see if there's something cool over there. Get it? Cool, because uh, I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, look at that snow, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. I sure wish it would snow in real life. I mean, it's nearly Christmas time, man. There's no snow to speak of in the UK yet. Well, I mean, unless you're in Scotland or something like that. I have no idea. But uh, it seems no matter where I live, we don't seem to get that much snow. Although, to be honest, it really wasn't that case at the beginning of this year, 2018. I had quite a lot of snow. But, you know, a white Christmas sure would be awesome. I'm just saying... Oh, God, this might actually hurt me. Oh, God, I forgot that in Calamity, your breath goes down a lot quicker if you're in the water. And to be honest, that actually makes sense as well. So, yeah, I think the reason they did that is because they really, really didn't enjoy the reduced movement speed. So instead, they made it slightly more realistic in that uh, you lose breath quicker in cold water. Because if you think in real life, when you're in cold waters, you like breathing really, really quickly, right? Because of how cold it is. So, yeah, I mean, I think that's pretty cool. Okay, cool. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and try and get up here. Oh, wow, this, uh, <laughs> this terrain is a little bit rough, huh? All right, can I even make that? Oh, nope, there is a tree in the way. I don't even know if I could freaking do anything about that one. Can I maybe get up there? Can I maybe... Okay, I'm going to have to try and estimate where we're going here. Okay, let's say here, and we go up. Yes, we're going to go up. We're going to get rid of this rope as we go along. Because I don't want this to look absolutely awful. And there we go. All right, we're up. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so we're now into a desert, which is always good to see. You know, I'm quite surprised we haven't come across a present yet. I really am surprised we haven't come across a present. Like, I feel like those things are, like, super common in the Christmas seasonal event. Like, we haven't had a single one so far. I feel like we've taken a damn, a decent amount of enemies. So, you know, Terraria, be nice if you could give me one, you know. <laughs> It'd be awesome, dude. All right. Well, anyways, let's keep going, my friends. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, what was I saying about presents? There we go. The first ever one, and we get pine tree blocks. Hey, man, you'll love to see it. I certainly do. Oh, mate, absolutely fantastic. Okay, so we've got yet another desert going on here. I wonder if there's going to be any uh, desert. Oh, yeah, I can't even make... I cannot make this up, guys. I was literally just asking if we could find ourselves a desert temple. And what do you know? Terraria comes through hot. Absolutely fantastic. Right, the question is where is the actual indoors part? And more to the point, is there going to be a sandstorm in a bottle so we can go all old meme status and do Darude sandstorm memes, right? That'd be kind of cool. Aha, here we go. So we have at least found ourselves the way in. Okay, always nice to see. Let's break that bad boy. Let's start lighting this up as we go along. And like I say, my friends, we are looking for the sandstorm air bottle let's break this stuff up and what do we got it is it is a sandstorm in a bottle oh my god absolutely fantastic guys absolutely fantastic i cannot i couldn't be happier with that we now have ourselves double jump ladies and gentlemen now I guess a further question would be, is there going to be anything good at the bottom of this temple? I mean, sometimes it goes like really deep into the cave systems. And sometimes you might just find yourself like a heart crystal or something like that. Uh, oh, that's odd. <laughs> oh, that's very odd. Okay. Oh, God. Don't 
Don't set it off, Python. There's a house down there. I know. I saw it. Don't you guys worry. I'm not blind. I will go ahead and check it out. Uh, okay, well, that seems to be the end of that then, huh? Maybe once we've got ourselves some scuba gear, we can go scuba diving in a, uh, in a freaking desert temple. I mean, it's not very often you say that, is it? <laughs> Oh, dear. Alrighty. I mean, the only thing that could possibly make this better is a magic mirror. Yo, I can't make this up. I can't make it up. What the hell? Oh, my God. How could I call it like that, bro? What the hell? Well, I, I'm not doing anything else, guys. I'm ending on a high note because, goddamn, we are doing absolutely fantastic in terms of our goddamn luck. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, please do be sure to let me know with a like rating. Hit the subscribe button. Ding that bell if you guys don't want to miss out on future content. But, guys, let's got to wrap it up. I mean, come on. You can't get much better than that. There's not many things better than such a string of good luck. Jesus, man. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you for all your support. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.